If you're looking for a way to transfer files, talking about videos, pictures and PDF from your iPhone to your Windows computer and from your Windows computer to your iPhone, then this video is for you. I found reliable processes that work for me all the time and that is what I'll be sharing with you in this video. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is King Tech. I'm a creative and on this channel, I talk about everything tech related, tips, tricks, product reviews and everything in between. If that's kind of your vibe, do well to subscribe to this channel and let's get it moving so there are three ways i found that does this excellently well two ways will be done wirelessly and the last one will be done via a usb connection which in my opinion is the most reliable one now let's get started but make sure to watch this video to the very end so you can understand how everything works perfectly all right so for the first one you want to go to this website called sharedrop.io on your windows and you also want to do same on your iPhone. Now on your PC, you should see your iPhone pop up just right here the moment you open this website on your iPhone. Now just tap on either device you want to send to or send from and select the files you want to send and hit send. To find the files you just sent, say on your iPhone, either you go to files on your iPhone, it will be there or it will be saved directly to your photos if it's a photo or a video. Now for the second solution. If for any reason sharedrop.io is having a downtime or whatever, you want to use snapdrop.net which is quite similar to sharedrop, just open it on both device, tap on the device you want to send to and just send. For any of these two websites to work, it is very important that your iPhone and your Windows PC must be connected to the same Wi-Fi or router because this works via local area network so your files will not be compressed whatsoever so you shouldn't be scared for that. Now for the last one which is the most reliable solution which I personally have been using for years that doesn't fail and can transfer large files is true iTunes. I prefer this method because it never fails and you can transfer really huge files in multiple gigabytes and you are sure that it will transfer and especially for content creators who shoot their videos on iPhone this will be most beneficial for you so let's get on with it. You want to go on Microsoft Store and download iTunes. It shouldn't take much time to install. After doing that, now you want to connect your device via a USB, via a lightning cable if you are still using a lightning cable USB or a type C if you're using any of the newer iPhones to your PC. Now iTunes may or may not recognize your device at this point because it requires a driver to recognize your iPhone and that driver obviously has not been installed. So Upon first connection, if it doesn't detect your device, this is what you should do to fix that. While your iPhone is still plugged into your computer, hit the start menu, type in device manager and open device manager. You want to look for portable devices. Under portable devices, you should see Apple iPhone with an exclamation mark. That means the driver hasn't been installed yet, but not to worry, I'll show you how to install it. Now in order to install it, you want to right click on the Apple iPhone and click update drivers. Now allow Windows do its thing and it will update the drivers in a few seconds. If you're finding value in this video so far, kindly hit the subscribe button and drop a like on this video so you do not miss future tech solutions like this one. Thank you and let's continue. Now disconnect and reconnect your device to your Windows PC and your device should be detected in iTunes at this point. Now you want to click the phone icon right up here, this little phone icon up here and your phone details should show up here of course. I'll just cover mine but you should see it on your own path. Come down here and click file sharing. Some apps on your phone which has root access will show up here. If you don't have any of those such apps, just download say VLC player or Chrome. Now whenever you want to copy files from your PC to your iPhone, all you have to do is click any of these apps that is displayed here. You just want to click and drag the files from your desktop onto this other path on your screen. And depending on the file size of course, you will see the copy progress bar show up here. And in order to find the files you just copied to your iPhone, you want to open the file app and then VLC, say you copy to VLC folder, here you should see the pictures or videos or PDF in here. If it's a picture or video, you just want to click on it and then click the name right up here and save it to your photos app. But if you want to copy from your iPhone to your PC, say it's a picture or video or even PDF, what you want to do here first is 
on your photos app you want to open the video or click to select multiple videos or multiple pictures now click the share icon scroll up and then click save to file now you want to save a copy to any of these app folders mind you not the root folder not like outside because you can't find that in itunes you want to save inside either of this vlc or chrome folder now connect your iphone via a usb and wait for it to pop up then go to the folder you just saved the files to and just click and drag the pictures or videos out to your desktop and there you have it three ways to transfer files from your pc to your iphones and from your iphone to your pc i hope you found value in these and if you have any questions kindly drop them in the comments below subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and i'll catch you on the next one peace